is a name that we have sat there and all of us have grown up with. And the fact that we have had, oh, Jeebus, how many types of movies have we had? Now we even so, have animated movies. And so I, now we have animated movies. So let's talk about what everyone sees as their favorite Spider-Man movie. And what is, I guess, the best, depending on what category you look at. Okay, so Spider-Man has been something that's been in my life for pretty much my entire life, as long as I Same can remember. Um, obviously, we've had a, a rocky road with Spider-Man on film. Yes. Originally, they wanted James Cameron to do it. That even had a poster that went out there. Never happened. Sam Raimi finally took it, delivered arguably the rebirth of the superhero movie with X-Men 1 and 2 alongside of his. Spider-Man 3 happened. The Amazing Spider-Man's happened. Homecoming happens, mm -hmm. and then Spider Verse happens. So it, it's a it's been a bumpy road of super highs. Yes, and, and real the lows. Bad lows. So honestly, what really gets to me is everybody has their own favorite version of Spider Man. Yes, and everybody says this is the definitive one, right? Like the version I like is better than the version you like because I'm correct. Yes, because everybody's opinion is... Right, it, it, the it's the correct one. <laughs> and I just sit back and I'm like, you know, I enjoyed all of them for different reasons. Yes. You know, um... Because each of them bring their own type of tale, because it's... Spider-Man has not been the same character throughout his 65, what, <laughs> years he's been, been while, around? Yeah. He has evolved as a character. He has had multiple multiverses and clones and everything, so... You can sit there and go into these movies being like, well, it's someone else's view on what was originally created. See, that's the argument I never get. People are okay with the Raimi movies, despite them being nothing like Spider-Man. They missed Spider-Man's jokey nature to distract because he's nervous. Yes. They messed up MJ completely. Gwen Stacy is botched 100%. Ugh. Multiple villain botches. Yes. Chasm, worse offender than all of that. Yeah. Like, times two. Homecoming, I will say, is even more offensive because it gets away from... The, the MJ is not the same character. There is no Gwen Stacy. They've changed core aspects of Peter's friendship. There's no Norman Osborn or Harry. But the thing you have to get, get and understand is it's new iterations of character that's been done so many times that you need a new version. And people always argue... Why does Spider-Man always want to be an Avenger? That's not Spider-Man. His first interest was being a fanboy of the Fantastic Four, wanting to be a member. Like, yeah. And you also have to realize, like, Spider-Man has evolved throughout the years. So have the times. <laughs> Originally, when Spider-Man was created, it was, I'm going to say it like this, it was a white world. Yeah. Because everybody in the comics had to be white, and they it was a very white, there, white world. There was actually laws in place and people wouldn't put your stuff out if you had people of color out there. He's evolved. Imagine going to New York. Go to school in New York yeah. today. Tell me how many schools of just everybody, every, as far as the eye can see, you see that's all white. It's not, it's New York. It's it, the melting pot of the world for the love of God. We you know, in like, Vermont, <laughs> like we are New York. New York is it's literally the massive. center of the United States. And that's what I don't get. Like, I understand what people don't like about Homecoming. Okay, they don't mention Uncle Ben. He exists. As clear as day, he exists. We know this now with the upcoming Far From Home. Yes. Spider-Man is going in different directions. And obviously we had the new Spider-Man video game. You saw me play it. Um, oh. It's a great tale. And people are like, well, that's the best version of Spider-Man that's ever been on live action. Or that's what they should have done with the movie. I'm like, you can't. Are you telling me that really Spider-Man's existed in the MCU this entire... That'd be like saying McGuire Spider-Man is canon to the MCU. I'm like, that wouldn't work. It really wouldn't, you know? because... He, not only is Spider-Man having to sit there and fit in to the MCU, which has been established for ten years, not just that, all of these characters have expanded even farther than that, right. because we have Agent Carter and... Captain America way back in the day. Right, because so, so nothing ever happened. It would have been odd. So the Spider-Man we're getting in the MCU is a new take on Peter Parker. Yes. He's not supposed to be comic Parker. He's no. not supposed to be the cartoon no. or the game. Like, it's a new character, just like the Raimi, just like Amazing Spider-Man was, and just like we're seeing in Spider-Verse. Yes. We have two different Parkers. We have the the one who 
everything goes right for him. <laughs> and then we have Par B Parker, which I call the B-list Parker because nothing ever goes right for him. And, and you see the unique takes on those. And honestly, again, they're unique takes on yes. them. And Spider-Verse literally tells you, look at these different iterations of Spider-Man. Like, yes. like Noir. Oh, yeah. Are, are people going to read Noir bit? this is trash. He's not like 616. It's like, no, that's you're missing the point of Spider-Man if you stick to one version of the character. Exactly. Like, one of my favorite adaptations of actually all of the different types of universes that you can get through Marvel is the 1602 series, as well as the Noir. Mm -hmm. Because they're one-offs that tell you a completely different story of characters that you already know and love. Mm -hmm. That is every single adaptation we have gotten so far of Spider-Man. Here's a character, we all know his name, we know his story. Here's this person's view on his story, here's this one, here's this one, here's this one. All different, all have the core aspect of who Spider-Man is. But they changed the world around him, yes. which is really what's great. And you know, and you kind of just have to take it as that. It's new interpretations of things you should just accept as normal because not once are you gonna get, you know, the thing from the comics. And I know how many people love the Dark Knight trilogy. I love Batman Begins. I really like the Dark Knight. I don't like Rises. But that is a botch of the Batman character. Exactly. They made him too realistic, but that's just the thing. You have to accept it. It's a new medium and a new telling. And honestly, you know, what's the best Spider-Man? There isn't one. It's the default comic one because nothing's recreated that. That's really the point, you know, like, and then nothing's ever going to recreate that. And I read the Ultimate Comics with Peter Parker getting reborn, if you will, or rebooted in the early 2000s. That wasn't Spider Man, but it became to be the most known and popular version of Spider Man. But they took liberties. I mean, the Green Goblin, for the love of God, was a flying Hulk monster. W was that anything like Green Goblin to you guys? But here we are, and. That Green Goblin is accepted as a great version. So I think people are too quick to judge. That's what I feel. They're just, it's not what I want. It's terrible. And unfortunately, we've seen that not even just with Spider-Man. We've seen it everywhere in the comic industry. And that's what, unfortunately, is the fault of the comic industry going into the films or the video games or into TV. It's this is what I grew up with. This is how it has to be. It has to be, it right. It can't because these characters have evolved from the 60s, 40s even, yeah. like way back from when they originally debuted to the day and age we are now. And if you want that, I got a great character recommendation for you. Conan the Barbarian. He's been the same since he was created by Howard. He's the same now. Doesn't matter if it's Marvel or Dark Horse or whoever the hell. Conan is the same. So if you don't want characters evolving and a dude who's just muscular beating up stuff and banging stuff, go read Conan. He's been the same for like a hundred years. I don't know Conan. what to tell you. Conan's the character. If you want characters to be changed and fresh takes on them, take Spider-Man, for example. And, uh, you know, I'll say it. I wasn't enjoying what they were doing with Aquaman in the DCEU until James Wan jumped on and changed what direction oh, yeah. they were going for. But I've accepted as a new take on the character. Yes. And it's great. So, um... Do that. Open your mind up to uh, new interpretations. Open your mind. Open, Open it. Your mind. Open it.